So you may not actually know this, but we have the capability of locking our iPhone applications within our iPhone in a fairly basic way. Now, the way to go and do this, like I mentioned, is very, very easy, and you can do this with almost every single iPhone application. As long as you have the shortcuts application involved or installed on your iPhone, you should be good to go. So what you want to start out by doing is first find the application that you want to go ahead and lock. So in this case, we'll just use the iMessage app that is a basic placeholder, but you can use any app for this you know, specific process. So start off by opening up the shortcuts application. Now I'll give you a little breakdown. This is kind of the spoiler of how the specific shortcut is going to look like. So you can see we're going to ask for the text with password. We're going to see if you know we can provide the text is basically the one, two, three. That's basically the password we're going to set up, opening up the application, and then ending it off if it doesn't work. So what we want to do is we want to start off by making our automation. So click on the plus button at the very top right, and we want to go ahead and click on add action. So what we want to do is we want to click on the box up here, and we want to type in ask. And we want to basically ask for input. Now the text that we want basically is going to be with prompt. So we can go and change this prompt to password or passcode or whatever we want to do. It's super basic. You can change whatever the way you want to. Now after this, what we want to do is you want to click on this if statement right here and we want to click on if provided input matches a condition. So if we go through our other you know, screenshot that we just made, if we go and take a look at this, you can see that we want to make sure that our provided input matches 123 or matches our passcode. So that's going to be the password we're going to be using. So here we're going to go and click here and we're going to match it with is. And then we're going to do is text. You can do 123, you can do password, you can change. This is going to be the password you're going to be using. So now when you're done with this, what we want to do is we want to have the open messages or open application option. So the very bottom right here, if you scroll down, if you don't, if you basically don't see it, what we can do is so we can click done and we can go and click on the search bar at the bottom and we can tap on open. So we want to basically have the option of opening up an application. So what we want to do is we want to have an open app. So search up open app and you should be able to see this specific option here. Tap on the open app option and you want to go and open up basically the app that you want to go ahead and basically open. So in this case, we'll use messages like I stated before. So we can tap on the messages and then we want to go ahead and drag this message option over under the provided input option, which is right there. Now, when you do that, you can see it's basically matching up with this. And then really the rest of it, you can just kind of keep it blank. So otherwise, and if you can just keep it like this, if you want to, you can script it a little bit further. So now what we want to do at this point, we want to go and click on the share button at the bottom. Now, actually before that, you, now what you want to do here is you can click on the share button at the bottom and we want to go and click on add to home screen, which is right here. Now, this is where things get fun. You can change this specific thing to whatever the name of that application was, which is messages. And what I'd recommend doing is going through and finding that icon of the message icons. You can find it on Google. You can tap in like messages icon right here. So you can find the specific image like this. You want to go ahead and download it. So save to photos. And then you want to go and bring up this image within here. So tap onto this icon, click on choose photo, and you can open up that iMessage icon and you want to click choose. Now, when you do that, you want to go and click add and watch what happens. This particular application will be added to your home screen. And now if you click and basically open it, it's going to prompt you for that passcode. So now if you don't type in the passcode properly, it's just not going to open it. But if you go and click on it and you type in that passcode properly, so one, two, three, you can see it's going to actually open up the application. And that's basically how it's done. It's a super basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.